Reef Dudes is sponsored by Ecotech Marine and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're going over my light schedule and part numbers. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. So today we are digging into my G6 schedule as well as my part numbers. Now this is something I get asked weekly for. Almost every week someone wants a copy of my schedule, has it changed since my old schedule, what part numbers I have in my tank. So today let's get into it. Now for my schedule, if you are someone that likes this hard card blues and nothing but, you might not care for my schedule. If you are someone that appreciates, you know, both a bit of a crisper, vibrant, whiter look, as well as the blues, then I think you're gonna love it. So my schedule does start off pretty blue in the mornings, and then it ramps up around noon to four to a very crisp, white, pristine kind of look. And then after that, it fades back down to an AV plus look until it ramps down for the evening to like more heavy blues. So it is kind of a very well-rounded schedule. Now during that period of really crispy white look, um, it's, it's very vibrant. You still have lots of really nice color pop and color rendition, which I think is key. And I also feel that that extra kind of vibrancy, that extra par level, extra white is going to pump extra par and kind of help a little boost of kind of growth and bring out some better coloration in corals. Now again, this is my anecdotal information, but it's been working very well for me. Now I have been running this schedule for years with great success. It's very tried and true. Everyone that I has used my G5 schedule has been very happy with it. The G6 one is super similar. This has been some minor tweaks along the way. Now this is designed to work with the pros. I've also heard of people using it with the blues and even importing to AI schedules. So it is semi-universal. However, if you're not using the pros, the schedule may look slightly different and you might be able to tweak that based on whatever spectrums or whatever looks you desire on your specific fixture. So my opinion, this kind of gives you the best of both worlds. Now the other question is what kind of power number is I getting in the tank? So let's give it a test. Now for this I'm going to test at the main two points. Uh, I'm going to test it during kind of like the peak period of the day and we'll also test it during the AB plus period when it ramps down. All right so the peak of this we have about 388 up here. This guy is getting about 390. Come over at the top of Red Dragon 322. The Golden Rod's getting about 350. Right above my torches is about 320. This guy is getting about 299. The Ghanis are at about 301. Which is actually interesting is with how much light spread there is down at the sand bed, how much more light you get. So at the end of the Zoas, we have about 170. Come down to this hammer on the sand bed and he is getting about 170. So I'm gonna say three to 350, upwards of four in some parts of the tank. Now, if we come in later to the schedule, so this would be the high kind of like cooking period of the day, as I like to call it. Now, if we come into, let's pick this point. So this is more the AB plus spectrum of the day. So this is around 4 p.m. onwards for me. Over here, we have about 250. This guy's getting about 300. 250, 270, 230. 140 down by the hammer we are getting 135 220 so it gives you a rough idea it's about 100 little 100 something more during the cooking period of the day so overall i'm gonna say that 250 to 350 depending on the time of the day is kind of the overall tank average obviously some spots a little higher some spots a little lower but that has been able to grow anything in my tank with awesome coloration now hopefully my schedule will actually be part of mobius in the near future for you guys to try it but in the meantime if you guys do want to try it out i will share a dropbox links in the description below if you don't have dropbox you can sign up for a free account i will also include that sign up link once you have dropbox installed on your phone you have the file in there if you click share and export file and from here you can select mobius and that will open the schedule within mobius the new templates in there and you can click on it to import it and apply it to your tank click activate and you're done and click on edit you can see it tweak and adjust it to your fitting to how you see fit and on here you know it could adjust the schedule i'm going to adjust the intensity down let's go down to 55 percent because i'm using xr30s you could run a little bit higher if you're using 15s so it's just that easy to import a schedule. Now, if you are trying mine out or if you've been using my old G5 schedule, let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to see how it's been working out and how you like it. Everyone that I've personally talked to has been very happy with it and it makes me happy. So hopefully this can help some of you guys out. Hopefully you guys can try out my schedule and grow amazing coral and have an awesome looking reef tank, especially if you enjoy the whites and the blues and want the best of both worlds. All right, guys, as always, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next update.